how does it make you feel watching yourself in that first week of the program? It's, it's cringeworthy. Hi guys, today I'm interviewing one of my students inside my online program, Confidence Through Dance, Taylor, who has made an amazing progress since she joined. I will show you her before and after video so you can judge for yourself, but um, I'm super excited to talk to Taylor. Hi Taylor, can you see me? Can hey. you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I wanted to talk to you about your experience and what motivated you to learn how to dance, how you started, and what was the situation? <laughs> Tell me, how were your dance skills before you started learning how to dance with me? So I guess the best way to describe them were uncoordinated. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I, uh, I didn't really know. I'd taken dance classes before when I was younger, um, but I never really learned the actual basics. I didn't even know that there were basics. Um, so I, I would say just super uncoordinated um, is the best way I can possibly put it. Uh, so coordination was the problem. Now, did you, were you able to be comfortable when it came to dancing in front of others at parties or weddings? How was that for you? So I, I'm not a shy person, so I don't have a hard time um, talking to new people, getting out there and dancing. Um, but I definitely did have a little bit of anxiety when it came to just dancing in general, just because I didn't necessarily know what I was doing. I was just kind of like grooving around. So um, mm -hmm. it wasn't necessarily like I was scared to dance. I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, or even how to dance to the beat or anything. I didn't even know that that was a thing either. <laughs> a thing? <laughs> I know. It is a thing. <laughs> okay, so uh, coordination, uh, no rhythm. Did you like the way you were dancing? Like, did you have your go-to moves? Were you happy with the way it looked? Definitely knew it could be better. Um, I, I would say, like, I just would kind of bop to the music. <laughs> so base, more basic stuff. Definitely, yeah. For you. Um, okay. And did you like, uh, did you know how to freestyle, how to improvise? Because, you know, when you go out, this is what everyone around you is doing. People just hear the music and then they can spontaneously move to it. Um, so how are your freestyle skills? Uh, Non-existent. <laughs> mm. um, I didn't really know how to freestyle. I didn't have like any signature moves or anything. I kind of was just like, dance around to like I, I guess it would be not even the beat it would just be like the melody uh -huh. is kind of what I was just dancing to so yeah I definitely did not have any freestyle if there was like a circle I was not in the middle of it I always thought yeah I was always like this is super cool but I'm not gonna just hop in so yeah, yeah you didn't I have didn't. the skills to be like ready for it no. and in the case <laughs> no. Uh -huh. no. Got it. So tell me what um, what methods did you try? Like, what did you try to learn how to dance? You mentioned the classes. Anything else? Are you two um, learning by yourself? So I definitely did do YouTube. Um, that's where I feel like I did a lot of like stuff on the side, but I was never really retaining anything. Um, mm -hmm. I don't. I don't even really know what I was looking. I mean, like dance for beginners. Um, things like that. I didn't really, I played sports most of my life, mainly because I think my parents were like, you're not, you're like uncoordinated. We're going to take you out of dance and we're going to put you in something where you can excel. Um, but yeah, I started looking up like YouTube videos. Um, I have a friend that did ballet for years. Uh, so she was trying to teach me some stuff, but I think the thing that I always noticed that I was looking up was routines. And so I was just watching these routines and trying to do them. And I'm like, <laughs> like not retaining anything. Um, and so, yeah, I think that's a majority of what I was trying to do. And it was not effective. <laughs> yeah, so definitely learning choreography, it can be fun, you know, depending on what your goal is. If you just want to move and get some um, movement into your body and just have fun and you don't care how you're going to look when you're dancing in front of people then it's fine but learning choreography doesn't prepare you for dancing in social settings because it's 
totally different. Freestyle and choreography are two different things. You have to know how to improvise if your goal is to look natural and blend in with others, you know, dancing at parties or in the club, at weddings, because if you were the only person doing the routine in the middle of the dance floor, I don't know if that would be such a great look, <laughs> right? It would bring attention yeah. to you for sure because no one else is doing it. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so I definitely yeah. get that. And on YouTube, how long uh, were you trying to learn? Well, several yes. years, several years. Uh, I, I just, Why like, didn't you find me sooner? <laughs> several well, years. I know, I know. It's, it's funny looking back. I was never... Um, like super consistent with it either. I mean, it was just kind of like here and there, you know, I'd try and like learn something new. Um, but I was honestly just feeling kind of beat by it because I was like, I'm not learning anything. <laughs> like this isn't working. Um, so yeah, I just, I wasn't very consistent. And then it was like one random night that I was like watching and I found one of your videos and it, I think it was like the body roll one. And I, it like I, the way you explained it just, made so much sense and I was like wait hold on so then I like went to your channel and I found your other videos and I'm like okay and I just happened to be like <laughs> I was just like drinking wine hanging out that night and I was just like man I'm gonna try a couple more of these and it was just like the way you were explaining everything just clicked in my mind for me to actually like move with the movements and stuff mm -hmm. and so I was like man and then I saw you were like hosting a call that night for like a um kind of like what your program was about. And I was yeah. like, this is fate. I'm like, this is fate. I got to be <laughs> <This> a sign. <laughs> like, that's cool. Like, yeah. So yeah, that's, that's how that all came about. So, well, I'm very happy that you found me. Yeah, um, me too. <laughs> okay. So, okay. So you tried the group lessons, you did YouTube for several years and you still weren't able to improvise and you still weren't able to take whatever you're learning and apply it to like real settings in front of people right sadly so what no do you think, what do you think was missing why why not um I think definitely the accountability um that was missing for me um I think just not having like the rhythm retention I didn't know to dance to a beat um just basic like footwork uh, I didn't really know to like how to like move around the floor and stuff like that. So I kind of just stay stationary with my friend group. Um, so I think a lot of that was missing for me. Mm -hmm. so. Accountability in group lessons. Of course, on YouTube, nobody's checking what you're doing. Nobody can see yeah. you. Uh, there's no feedback, right? Also, so you might be practicing something wrong. You wouldn't even know until you have foundation. Once you have solid foundation, the coordination is there, rhythm is there, you know how to put the movements together by yourself, then sure, you can go on YouTube, pick something you like, like a body roll, uh, and you will be able to learn it. But if the foundation is not there and you're trying to learn a movement just because you like it, what is the point if you'll never use it? You won't know how to use it, you know? Right. So that's why foundation is important. And you mentioned that for you, there, you had a problem with rhythm, you had a problem with coordination. So again, mm -hmm. those are the two main skills you need to have in order to, to dance. <laughs> so that's why it took several years without, right. you know, seeing uh, much improvement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. no, I agree for sure. <laughs> uh, so tell me how soon, uh, how soon into the program did you realize that okay, I've made the right decision to join. Because I know, you know, it is an investment, you're investing money, you're investing time. When did you know, at what point did you know that, okay, I'm in the right place? I would say um, probably lesson three, lesson four. I'd say lesson four probably is when I was like, yeah, I'm getting this. Um, I think mainly because that's when transitions between movements um, felt pretty seamless to me. I wasn't um, just constantly thinking about like, what am I going to do next? Um, so I would say, yeah, like lesson four was when I felt like I'm like, okay, I can do this. Like this, this is actually really cool. Um, and I was picking up on, I like the way you put the whole thing together. I mean, it's like, it makes Thank sense you. now, like looking back though, like for real, like looking back, I'm like the way you did it, it's like your body just knows to do the next movement. It's like my body's just ready. It's 
I don't know. It's so weird, but I'm like, I love it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for yeah. saying it's weird. I tried. <laughs> no, no, I but... love it. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that's exactly what I want you to be able to do. It's not enough to learn separate movements. You have to prepare the body to be, first of all, ready for those movements and then knowing how to put them together. Because on the dance yeah. floor, you're not going to do one move and then stop and wait for trying to remember what else did I learn, right? It has to flow. Yeah. So I'm glad that you're saying that, that it's helpful. Um, and as far as um, those um, fundamental skills, Aside from being able to transition between the movements, what improvements did you notice first in relation to, you know, rhythm, coordination, confidence? Those were all the issues. What improved first? I would say probably the rhythm for me. Um, just knowing like where the beat was, you know, dancing on the snare. I think that that was like the quickest for me to kind of recognize um, it took a lot of practice, um, and just like listening for it just in everyday music, not even when I'm practicing dance, but just, you know, when I'm listening to music in the car, um, I'm listening for the beat. So I think that the rhythm came first. Um, and then I would say, you know, kind of like that lesson five, lesson six is kind of when I started to see like my coordination improve, um, just getting comfortable with like the harder movements and things. Um, and then I would say like most recently, probably like level or less than seven, eight is kind of when I've um, felt way more confident. Um, I'm just able to dance whenever I turn on a song and I hear the snare or um, even just the melody and I can just dance and not have to be like looking in a mirror or, um, you know, looking down at my feet and wondering what I'm going to do next. Um, I have a board on the wall where I'm like my up the most recent movements that I'm oh, learning. Yeah, I remember the board. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep, it. So, I loved it. Yeah. So That's I've got awesome. the board by the mirror and, you know, so when I'm practicing new movements and stuff, I'm like, make sure I incorporate, you know, these mm -hmm. into my dance. And so I would say, yeah, most recently. Um, so probably like a last month I've seen the most confidence in my dance. So. That's awesome. And, you know, it improves yeah. everything. We can't do everything at once. So obviously we start with rhythm because you cannot dance without rhythm. You have to know what it is you should be accenting in the song, then how to move the body to it. So coordination and then gradually confidence is also improving. And we have a specific system that we work on confidence. I always say it's not going to happen overnight. It doesn't matter how many moves you learn. You can have 100 moves, but if you're not sure you're doing them correctly, you're not sure that you look amazing doing them, you're not going to do them in front of 100 people on the dance floor. There's just no, no. way, right? <laughs> no. So compared to YouTube, and I know a lot of beginners start learning on YouTube, how was the program different? How is that experience different than just learning by yourself at home, watching YouTube tutorials? Well, there's, I mean, I, I mean, depending on what you're, you know, practicing or how long you're practicing for, if you have a date you want to be done by, I mean, I would just say that the accountability is there. So, you know, we've got, you know, at the time we had, you know, two weekly meetings together and it's like, I don't want to show up to this, you know, meeting with my dance instructor. Like I haven't been doing anything. So, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, I would say like the accountability for sure um, was definitely like a big thing for me. Um, and then also just having it, uh, I like, we have the spreadsheet where, you know, we're keeping track of the days that we're practicing and, um, you know, then we're practicing and then we take a video of ourselves, which is a pretty big deal. And, um, uh -huh. I love, I love that because I'm able to look back now and be like, Whoa, you know, <laughs> we're going to talk <laughs> about <what> that <laughs> for sure. Cause I watched your um, first video today, actually, and compared it to the last one huge yes. difference don't <laughs> talk about so, it yeah so um I would say definitely accountability um you know having like a set plan so I love the way you have your whole entire program set up so it's like I know where I'm at in terms of like my phase that I'm in and um just seeing that makes me feel confident because I'm like I'm going somewhere like I have somewhere to go and I'm going somewhere so um I really like that and then um just your quick feedback I mean it's like same day so, you know, it's like, if I'm messing up on something, I mean, I'm not waiting like a week or something or to find the next video, um, on what I need to improve. And then not only that, but, you know, with having these videos, it's nice for 
your feedback because then I can go back and look at them and be like, okay, that's where, you know, I'm messing up and that's what I need to work on. So I would say, yeah, just in general, um, everything. <laughs> I <laughs> needed this. How did your confidence change throughout the, um, throughout being in the program? So I would definitely say, um, I care less about what others think about my dancing. Uh, I think where I was before I started this was, like I said, I didn't know the actual basics of just dancing to a song. Um, and so I think now that I actually know that I'm doing the right thing, that makes me feel like a hundred percent more confident because I, there's no question. Like nobody could be like, she's doing that wrong. So I like that. And I think um, the biggest thing, so this weekend I had my best friend's bachelorette party. Um, and so we went out clubbing and I danced all night long and it was amazing. I never was like, I wasn't, I was a little like anxious kind of going into the night, but it was more like, I think like an excited, like, I can't wait to do this. Um, and so we danced all night. I loved it. And the one thing that I noticed, Monica, is that nobody knows how to dance. <laughs> I always tell you that. I always tell everyone that. And everyone, once you guys learn how to dance, I know because you update me inside our private uh, group, uh, every other person is saying the same thing. Now I know yeah. how to dance and I watch people, they don't know what they're doing. So no. then it makes you feel better because you're actually good <laughs> compared yeah. to other people, right? Yeah, that was the so craziest realization for me because I, I mean, before this, I wouldn't have been able to be like, he's dancing to the beat or he's not. Um, or, you know, a woman either, like I, I wouldn't have been able to, to do that. So now it's like, now that I realize that the pressure's off, I'm like, okay, like I, now that I know what I'm doing, I'm like, there's absolutely no worry. So I loved that. That was an amazing feeling. So that was like more fun, right? It's more fun to oh, yeah. dance when you know that not only you're the one who has the skills, but you also know that you might stand out. Not only the goal is always for beginners to just blend in and look natural, but then once you notice you're already at that level, you can actually be better than others. And that's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah, I was excited. Your first two videos, uh, I watched them today, so <laughs> they made me smile, but uh, you know, that's because I'm so happy how far you, you came. Uh, but can we talk about how, when you watch that first video, because again, you have proof of, um, every single improvement in the program we do take videos of everything so how does it make you feel watching yourself in that first week of the program it's I'll wait <laughs> um, it's cringeworthy for sure uh, I mean I was just I was super nervous um, not confident at all at what I was doing I mean looking back now I'm just I'm glad that I stayed determined and have been consistently practicing because I mean with every lesson I'm just like so excited to learn the next move it's almost like I'm always like next lesson but I know that I need to like stop and just practice <laughs> so yeah um, but now yeah. I feel like you have the foundation building foundation that's not necessarily a super fun process I know because I learned how to dance from scratch myself as well a uh, long time ago, but I still remember that, you know, it's uh, you're learning a new skill. So in the beginning, it feels more like exercising, not really um, something that you can express yourself with. But once you have that foundation, it just changes because now you can see improvements. Now you can tackle more, more advanced movements, more interesting ones. Your freestyle is getting better and you can actually enjoy yourself, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, I've noticed that even just trying some of like your other dance moves and stuff on YouTube is like before this program, there would have been no way that I would have just, I mean, gotten it on the first try as you're explaining it. It's like now I can just turn on a YouTube video and be like, okay, and just start following right away. So it's just, it's amazing. Like just how you're saying, once you have that foundation, I mean, you can just go. I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. And it's crazy. I also think not only you can now pick up movements quicker, but you actually know how to use them because you know the system, you know how to connect them with the movements that you learned, you know, months ago. So whatever mm -hmm. you're learning, it's not going to waste. You will be able to use it. 
Yeah, I, I definitely true. didn't know, like in the beginning when you had just the very simple, basic, even just the knee bend. I mean, I was doing that wrong even. <laughs> oh, wow. Well. Like, you know? That's okay. That I, just means that you needed this program. Right. I was doing that wrong. But, you know, like looking back then, I do get what you're saying. Like, I was just kind of like, why am I learning this? But like, so, so, so glad that I just spent the time practicing. I mean, over and over and over. So, yeah, definitely needed that. <laughs> First video, definitely you're looking to like, you're overthinking it like you're not sure what you're doing i guess you were focusing on the rhythm because like you said rhythm was an issue so not only you had to focus on how to do the movement but how to put it to the music correctly right um yeah. the way you danced in that first video or, or two or even how you danced before you started the program what stood out the most like how would you describe your dancing in one word Steph. Huh. Yeah. So it wasn't like the natural movement, it wasn't happening yet. And how is it mm -hmm. now? Um, Let's talk about the video that you submitted last. So it was, I think, which lesson? Lesson seven, eight? Eight. Would have been eight. Okay. So um, after just eight lessons, if you watch that video that you did, how how is it different from the first one? Or how is it different from how you were dancing before you started? I would definitely say confident, but I want to say happy. Um, I'm just, I'm happy that I'm able to express myself in a way that I've never been able to do before. I just think like being able to dance to music, like I love music. And I think that being able to move your body in a way that you want to, to express yourself is such a beautiful thing. And I think it's seriously underrated. So I don't know, I think more people need to dance, but more or less, like I just, I love being able to trust myself and know that like what I'm doing is right and it feels good and it's happy and fun. And I love that. So I, I would say like, it's changed 180% from the first video. <laughs> and tell me what would happen if you didn't take my program? What do you think would happen to your dance skills? <laughs> Well, what, what dance skills are we, are we referring to? <laughs> uh -huh. um, so um, I definitely, um, I'm just really glad I did it because I have learned so much in the few months that I have been consistently dancing. And I've noticed just towards the end, like of this, like lesson seven, lesson, or lesson eight, is that I'm I'm more excited to get another lesson in. I'm like, okay, I'm going somewhere. I'm like, I'm making significant improvements to the point where I work out every day. Um, that's something that I like commit to. That's just kind of like my thing. Um, I'm actually like substituting my workouts with a dance um, class instead, because Aww. I'm like, I'm, I'm getting that much more fun out of my day. Um, so I guess even just self care, you know, taking that, you know, 30 to 40 minutes a day for yourself and doing something that brings your day joy. Because I just feel like after a year, like last year, you know, with everybody being home and stuff, mm -hmm. it could be so hard where your day just kind of blends all together and like nothing fun is standing out, you know? So I, I would say like, you know, adding some fun into your day with some fun music and, and being able to dance to the songs that you like, that I can do that. I mean, I can dance to any song, which is insane. I will say because like before <laughs> no <laughs> like, yeah, before you didn't know absolutely not so yeah i definitely i would say this past week and i just it was like a huge breakthrough for me i was like i'm going home and i'm practicing i'm like i love Aww. this and so yeah i i even told myself i'm like this week i'm just ditching all my workouts and i'm just gonna practice dance so <laughs> awesome i support this idea 100 <laughs> percent. i did too. the same thing actually when i was learning yeah <laughs> workouts yeah. boring dancing yeah. especially once you start liking what you see it's just so motivating to you know because then the sky's the limit you can literally learn anything yeah so thank you so much for sharing your story i think it was very very inspiring to people who never thought they could learn how to dance efficiently and effectively. So thank you so much for sharing. And um, I'm so looking forward to helping you and helping and seeing you improve. That's amazing. Like literally every single lesson, every single week, 
you dance differently, which makes me so happy. And you even look like you're enjoying what you're doing. So again, huge improvements and I'm super proud of you. And yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing you in like three months, six months, a year. I'm scared how good you can get, to be honest, if you're improving so quickly already. Yeah, I, I'm I'm super thankful, like seriously, for everything that you do for us. I mean, it's just, I mean, between like the extra lessons and like the fun little loosen ups in our, in our lessons and stuff. I mean, it's just, you add a lot of light to my week and you know, I'm just super grateful. So thank you. If you're interested in what my online program is about and seeing how I can help you, feel free to book a free consultation with me. You'll find the link below this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I've lost you. But I need you And you're off my brain You're now